Hello friends, welcome. In this video series, I will be discussing the detainable deficiencies and the various codes and conventions. Today I will answer what are the detainable deficiencies under ISPS code. To comply with any code or convention, there is a structure to it. The structure is very straightforward. You need to have a certificate on board which proves that you are complying with that particular code or convention. Then there are certain documents that you need to maintain for that. And finally, there are certain actions that you need to perform. For ISPS code, we have International Ship Security Certificate that must be present on board. If it's not there, then the ship can be detained. If there are insufficient security records like last 10 port of calls or the documents which are required as per the ship security plan. And finally, the third part, if there is a reason to believe that the ship security plan is not being implemented properly, such as general security measures are not being taken, like gangway watch, security patrol, record keeping of the people who are coming on board the ship and leaving. In such cases, a ship can be considered not complying with the ISPS code and it can be detained. In the next parts, I will cover other conventions and codes. I hope this was a useful video for you. If you have any feedback, suggestion or comment, then please do write down below. All the best for your exams and as always, thank you for watching.